Welcome back. I just want to do a little intro before the video starts. Just want to say it's not really going to make sense because it was a couple of weeks before I put the last one on. But it just wouldn't upload for three to four weeks. But now I've seemed to have fixed it. So, yeah, I just want to say it's not going to be in order. So it's not going to make a hell of a lot of sense. But still a lot of uh, good information and another bit of the journey to go along with. So, yeah, hope you enjoy the video. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to my channel. I know there's been a little bit of a break, but I've been in the middle of moving house at the minute, so my training's been a little bit hit and miss, to be honest with you. But I'm starting to get a little bit more back on track, a little bit onto my schedule again. So I'm just going out for a eight mile run right now. Um, weather's not great, but at least it's nice and cool, keep my heart rate nice and low. But I've got a little bit of a surprise which I'm quite excited about myself. I have got the new Nike Alpha Flies. So I'm going to see how I'll get on with them. I have done two short runs with them, but only a couple of miles in between moving and traveling, moving boxes, all, all the exciting things that you need to do with moving house. So I'm going to go a little bit steadier today, a bit more of an aerobic run. See how we get on, see if I can break them in, ready for race day, which is about, well, a month and four days away now, I think maybe a month and two by the time I get this on YouTube. So, yeah, it's getting pretty close, getting a bit excited, so I'll take you on the run with me. There'll be a little bit of a different route as well today, because obviously I moved to a different area. So I'm trying to find my ways around eight mile loops, 10 mile loops. Because I knew exactly from my old house where I was going to where I was gonna finish, literally within meters of where I needed to be. So, uh, but now back to square one. So I see what, I might even run down to the, my old route down the river, up through Connors Key and places like that. So I might take you through the old route. Actually, I haven't been down there in a while. It's nice and flat. Well, it's a little bit windy today. Not too bad really, just a little bit of headwind and uh, obviously as you can see it's just a rain. It's not the not the nicest of weathers today. So yeah, we'll see you on the run. Let you know I'm getting on my shoes. So I'm only a mile and a half in and the wind and the rain, if you can see it on the camera is good. That's just oh, the headwind. I'm running down the river now give so much more effort to go against the wind. Whether you can hear me above that wind, but I'm about a mile and a half in, between a 7.15 and 8 minute 5 mile pace. Uh, so pretty comfortable pace, but the wind and the rain. I said, what, 12 minutes ago to you on the camera, it wasn't too bad, it was just, it was there, but it's not gonna affect me, but wow, how it's picked up such a short space of time uh, yeah and as you can see there's not this is usually full of cyclists and other runners but as you can see behind me there's no one out it's only me today everyone must be made of sugar don't like getting wet but this is where the are important but this is where the workouts mean the most and you don't want to go out, it's cold, it's wet, it's windy. These are the ones that count, not the sunny days, or the ones with no wind and no rain, just calm. They're the easy ones, they're the ones you should do without, it should just go straight over your head then. It's these ones, it's these ones where they mentally challenge you to get out of the house, get away from the radiators and the heating, get out on the wind and the rain. You'll feel a million times more better for it. I've been... I've been struggling the past couple of... Well, two weeks now. Not being able to get out has been agitating me, not being able to go and do my runs or my weight sessions or as many as I want to do. So it's nice to be out on a little bit of a long run, especially with my new shoes. Can't argue. 
good day to be running. So I'm back off the run. I didn't do a, I didn't finish it on the run, just because it was absolutely smashing it down with rain. So I just wanted to get inside, to be honest with you, once I'd done my run. But it finished up as eight miles, um, one hour and five minutes at an eight minute eight mile pace. So I wanted anywhere between eight minutes and eight thirty, to be honest, because I'm just still trying to break in uh, the new. Nike Alpha Flies, so I just wanted to have a little chat about them. The run went well. I'm still breaking in the uh, the Nike Alpha Flies, so they're a little bit different to running. It's like uh, the one way I could put it is the first two, maybe three runs. It's almost like when you run for a while on a treadmill and you step off and you're walking, and it feels like you're walking really fast or like you're floating almost. That's the probably the best way I could describe it but today I felt a little bit more like I was used to it and I was bedding them in a bit more so that was uh that was all well that's always good to be getting used to them more comfortable but I just want to have a little talk about them so they're here I've gone for like the turquoise blue colour which in winter in the UK is not ideal because I've just had to give them a wipe then because they're just covered in mud and they were, well, they're still a bit wet now, but they were, my feet were soaking by the end of it because they've got this, it's like a fly knit material, so I don't know whether you can see, you can actually see through the material. It's, it's just a mesh, really, but, um, yeah, I've done probably 20 miles in these so far, and I'm absolutely loving them. I, I, the first run, they had to grow on me because I didn't like, like I was saying, the treadmill feeling, but whilst I was running... I didn't enjoy that one bit, so it's got a full carbon plate, but it's got the air zoom pods. So I don't know if you can see this because it's pretty dark in the room, but when you push, they're just like expand out and they're taking more of the brunt of the force, which I struggle with calf or Achilles strains a lot of the time. That's just taking all the weight out of, out of the impact that I'm making on the floor, so. And they're much lighter than my old ones. I had the Nike Pegasus 38, which I will go on to talk about in a minute. But these now will only be for my 8 plus mile runs, 10 plus mile runs maybe. Um, as I've not got many of them left leading up to the marathon. But yeah, they're uh, the back, it does say on it, the new Nike Zoom X foam, would you call it, the back. And when you stand on it, you can't really do it with, with, unless you get your full body weight. It does make you think about the way that you run, whether you're a heel striker or you're a toe striker, because you notice it as you're running. If, you, if you're landing here, it's more solid. Whereas if you're a heel striker, you land, and this depresses down to, to almost nothing. It just absorbs everything up and springs you back. Um... And I'm really enjoying them at the minute, but the two things, there's probably two issues with them for me, which just might just be a personal uh, personal preference, but the atom knit it is, sorry, not, uh, not flying it, the atom knit is just a little bit too thin. Like, I understand that they want to make them lightweight and everything like that, but see, it's just like a thin mesh that you can see through clearly. Uh, that's just a little bit too thin for me. I'd like it a little bit thicker or a bit more durable. And the second is, they're too fast. Having to hold myself back. I'm having an issue with holding myself back, to be honest. I'm running... If I was going off a perceived effort uh, run then, it was probably a four, maybe a five. With these, it'd, ma it'd make it a three. Whereas with my uh, Nike Pegasus 38, it would be a five or a six, but this is knocking it down right to a three. So what I'm running an eight minute mile pace in the Nike Pegasus, I'm running almost a six minute to six minute 30 in that, which is a, 
which is a lot really when you're gaining when you're gaining that much time over a mile over 26 um, miles in a marathon so that would be my only other issue well that's a benefit it's not too much of an issue but I'm having instead of going into my own world when I'm running I'm having to think about my paces more often I'm having to look at my watch more often to check I'm not going too fast but come race day I'll be glad I've got that issue at the minute so can't complain they are expensive uh, and so far I would say they're worth it just for the sheer fact of taking the impact off your joints because I'm not sure about you lot but I get ankle more than any muscle pains or anything like that I get ankle pain and I get Achilles pain as well so this has just eliminated all that so far how it'll do over 26 odd miles we'll have to see and find out but up until now I would advise people to get these if they were if they were really into their running so we'll move on to my night Pegasus excuse the dirt on them I have just got back in from walking the dog round um, local forest bios taking them in the water uh, and I haven't had a chance to clean or dry them just yet they're still soaking as well because I wear them to go to the gym I wear them on short runs I wear them on my um, track days or tempo runs like shorter ones but faster just for the fact that like the issue I have with that they're, they're also like a mess like a netting but it's a lot thicker you can't I don't know if you can see it it's quite dark in here um, it's a lot thicker uh, they're not as light but I end up for speed wise I'd, I'd much prefer to feel more solid in, in, the, in the shoe than a bit more loose and flimsy in that so uh, I've had these about maybe six months I reckon I've put 500 miles on these between long runs, short runs and tempo runs and I love them I love this style of shoe I preferred the Pegasus 37s but um, sorry about the moan in the background Lou wants to go and play with the other dogs outside but it's chucking it down so we're keeping him in um, yeah I had the Pegasus 37s before these which I do prefer but the, the this is an awesome shoe I feel solid in it it's a, it is quite heavy it's not like your normal race day uh, shoe or marathon runner shoe but uh, I just enjoy the way it feels the way I run in it but now I am noticing that I have pretty much run the sole out of it at 500 miles like I'm feeling the impact on my, on my ankles and my Achilles so just going to use this for tempo runs and possibly track days but I'd also if you were just running 5k's maybe 10k's I would recommend the Pegasus 38's or 37's if you can still get hold of them because I think I may invest in another pair of 37's because it's just my preference but yeah they're what I'm using right now so I just wanted to give you a little insight on what I, what equipment I was using to help my running obviously I've got a Garmin 645 runner and a bit unprepared here I haven't got me uh, my chest strap but I've got a, a Wahoo chest strap which connects to my watch and so accurate so accurate with what I'm doing with the distances with the times with the paces and the, and the heart rates and the zones seconds and none really with a Wahoo um, I got that recommended by one of my mates who's a professional motocross rider um, and he swears by it so give it a go um, I love it so that's all I'm pretty much using as you can see I've upgraded my shoes because I just had some normal running shoes short distance so um are you okay <laughs> um yeah so that's just a little insight into some of the clip uh some of the equipment that i'm using uh hope you're enjoying the videos i'm sorry about the lack of videos in a minute as you know i've been moving house so priorities have been a little bit different at the minute but i am getting back to it now 
So I'll video a few more runs in the next coming weeks. So if you've got any questions you'd like to make for videos, as in my, you want to see my track days or my tempo runs or you want to see just more long distance or a bit of a day in the life, put it down, put it down in the comments. Um, let me know and I'll have a look and I'll get them done for you. So now it is that time. I'm just about to have me tea now. It's seven o'clock, so it's a little bit late tonight. But as I haven't ran in a while, my calves and Achilles were a little bit tight today. So I'm going to go and do my recovery routine in a minute. And if you haven't seen that, I'll put it maybe here or here. I'm not sure which side it'll be. Um, if you want to have a look at that and what I'm doing to keep on top of preventing injuries and just minor scuffs and things like that. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.